Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Lands of Elysian. How'd you like that intro? I've been trying to work on new things to fresh up the series a little bit, and uh, I hope that works. I, I, I like it. I hope you guys do too. But anyways, let's get on with the show today. I've been so busy, I need to show you guys so much. So there has been a lot going on. I've been trying to work on this series so much lately. I, I've just squeezed so much time into this place, and I've gotten quite a bit done. And uh, there's still so much more that we need to do. Now, I, I came here, I threw in a bunch of carrots, and holy cow, holy cow. Okay, I was not ex I was not expecting this many. Uh, okay, so oh, there's a baby still in there. How did the, wait a second, how did the baby, how did the baby get in there? The baby's supposed to stay here. Okay, um, the, that's that's weird. The baby's only supposed to stay here and not go up until he grows. So maybe he got bumped up by another one. Maybe there's two ba I don't know. Somehow he got bumped up. He's not supposed to be in there. That's insane. Got one, two, three, three, three adults, one baby, three three men and a baby. Okay. Um, that's. Don't you dare. Don't you dare try to... You know what? We, we have to put something here. We have to... Ah, that's not going to be good. That's not going to be good. Oh, They're still trying to breed, too. These guys are still trying to throw carrots at each other. I heard that. I heard that. Let's, let's go up there, take a quick look. At what's happening up here because that's insane is there is there another there's an oh there's another baby okay this is this is wild we need to start getting the rails down so that we can actually start transporting these these guys over to our library location which means we've got to build up some of those libraries or the slots i mean in order to hold all these villagers this is this is so crazy we might have mending books really soon, which is going to be super awesome. Okay, um, I don't, I don't know what to do now. That's that's going to be a lot of work. We've got to build rails all the way from here to way over there. Oh boy, maybe uh, I don't, I don't even know what to do about that. But moving on from that project, I just want to check on that real quick since I've been so busy over here doing stuff. <laughs> we built a new ship. Look at that. You can kind of see the mass in the background. Built a new ship. It's in the dock. And um, we did something special with it using our structure blocks and command blocks. Now, if you're familiar with Vastin, you know how they travel there. So we kind of took a page from Fix It, even though he doesn't want to take credit for it because he says somebody else created it before him. And that's all fine. But I was inspired by that. So let's see. Look at this. Here is our new ship. And uh, this is smaller than our pirate ship. It's a bit smaller than our pirate ship. It's a lot thinner than our pirate ship. And it's not as tall as our pirate ship. So there's a little bit of a slant down here for the, uh, the docks. This will be for smaller boats. And then eventually it'll be down at that level for the actual boats we can control. So here you got a sign that says ship to sour. And I, I know it sounds kind of funny, but that actually is a Norse word for sheep. And I thought that was pretty fitting because this takes you to our AFK sheep farm or wool farm. So we've got our little boat here and you can see no mass yet. I haven't made any progress on that just because I need so much wool. So what happens here is you go into the boat and if you want to travel to to sour so sour sour I'm just gonna say sour you want to travel to sour all you got to do is come over to the captain's desk and hit this button ship to sour all right Ooh, well I'm still in the boat wait a second we if we leave oh <gasps> look at that we traveled here how cool is that? And wait a second. Where's Courage? Ooh, I don't think Courage actually fast travels with us. Okay, that's a shame. So there's part of the dock here. This kind of got copied in with the structure blocks. 
And if you want to find out how we did this, I have three tutorials available. There are in a Java playlist for structure blocks. And I go over all the basics. I show you how to copy large stuff. I show you how to erase. Uh, there's quite a bit there available. So I recommend checking those out. But essentially what we did was copy and paste the boat from the Fenrir Kingdom over to this new village. Now I have to mention, we are playing a survival world. We have been playing in survival. And these are the only moments that I'm allowing cheats to happen. We're using command blocks and structure blocks specifically for the purpose of traveling through this world to creating ports of travel, all while trying to make it as immersive as possible. Structure blocks and command blocks are not craftable in survival and they are not obtainable in the creative menu. You have to have commands enabled and that's how we're doing it and only for this. Now, eventually I'm gonna have to create the docks for this area. Oh, which... Uh oh, which also means I'm going to need a way to get back onto that dock. Oh, no. But yeah, how cool is that? I'm absolutely loving that. That's going to make traveling this area or this this world a very awesome, but a lot more uh, convenient. And um, I'm, I'm looking forward to just building more kingdoms now so that we can kind of expand our traveling. It's going to be so cool. Look at all the horses here. Jeez. We'll put down a torch on top of that. Our wool farm, don't know if this has been kicking off. Oh, it looks like it has been. It's still, it has still been creating stuff. Not as much because I haven't been over here, but um, still it looks like, look at that, that's so cool. What's it gonna give us? Oh, a white wool. All right, cool. I guess that means that we're gonna have to duplicate this now, so, hmm. All right, I guess it's time to finish this one off, so let's get started.
Okay, well, I seem to be running out of material, but we got a pretty good portion of this barn done, and I'm actually liking it. I decided to go with just spruce roofs for this. Uh, simple, but, you know, try to put as much detail into this roof as much as possible. Uh, we have a lot of stone accents. I went for oak walls this time. No variation, just straight stairs because uh, they have that nice kind of extra depth feature if used correctly and you can even make these loop around um, simply by just doing something like uh, oh boy okay let's see if I do this if I were to put that there and oh well, no definitely not like that but one up like this you also get that nice kind of round shape along the sides too but I'm going to we're going to keep these rather simple. So that one upside down, this one right side up, and we're going to put that cobble block right back where that was because it also has this depth right here in this corner, which shows off a little bit of that stripped oak. So I like that a lot. And of course, window shutters here so you can see the inside of the barn from the outside, I guess. And a simple straight path inside you got an upper area up here to put in all of the uh, shears, which uh, I don't have any on me, so that's good. And I need to finish off this side as well. And then I think maybe down here, under this area, is a good spot to maybe store some of our chests, like this guy. So we can probably put, let's say, uh, a chest here. Right? And we can put... I picked up another one. I thought I saw another chest. Maybe I'm seeing things. So we can just dump in our colors here. This will be for dye, right? So that will look very, very nice. We'll put all our colors in here. Uh, something like this, I suppose. And eventually we'll have all 15. And we'll get more from the flower shops that we built here. Now I'm going to build another uh, chest here for maybe extra wool. Or, um, you know, all the iron that is going to be needed here for you know making all the shears i better get to sleep though you guys you guys man if you're not getting stuck in the walls you're just yes they're so noisy here what's going on with this village but yeah ran out of material so uh also just because it's going to be much easier to get the sheep in here without the roof in place uh, i think that's just going to cause more of a headache to be honest but i think we can do uh this half filling in all the sheep just without the roof it, it'll be so much easier okay i think just in case we're gonna take a quick spin around this village and see if we can find any sheep in case more have spawned back since the last time we've been here so let's give it a whirl Alright, so one sheep. I went around the entire village and only found one sheep. That's not cool. Yeah, I gotta maybe just find more somehow. Oh boy. I'm not I'm not seeing any though. There's there's a lot of pigs here though. Oh. Ah, oh, it's a pig. Okay. I think what's going to happen is I'm going to keep this guy in here because it's enclosed and he can't really get anywhere. And I'm going to try my luck to hopefully find at least one more and then just breed them. All right. So, yes, now I am back and we need to replenish some of our redstone stuff. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I missed you. I was I was you were waiting here the whole time. huh? Yeah, I was fixing the sheep stuff. Here you go. Let's let's go. So there's not going to be a comment of the day today just because I'm recording this before the previous episode came out 
and uh, I needed time to edit and uh, yeah, yeah there's just there's no new comments for today unfortunately but you know what to do comment below and you could be here on the comment board next time alrighty I guess that's it that's all I got for today I'm gonna check on these villagers and see I'm gonna contemplate how we can actually set up some kind of traveling device here to port them over at the uh, the library Oh, this is going to be so crazy. 